What is the point of living ever longer if the place we call home is damaged beyond a point that gives us pleasure? We live in amazing yet unprecedented times. We are on the cusp of immortality and yet our home has never faced such existential threats. Ever since the first humans left for space and returned with pictures of the whole Earth, we have sent up satellites which have helped us see the biggest and the smallest of details and allowed us to measure in unprecedented scale and accuracy the wonder of our home and also the devastation we are unleashing on both local and global scales, which threatens not just the wildlife we love to enjoy, but the very systems on which we depend for our common futures. Within maybe a decade, we will have the first treatments that seek to cure the ailments and maladies that curse our old age, robbing us of the vitality and memories that should be the treasure we preserve of the times we have experienced. Yet in the same period, we run the risk of unbalancing the very environmental systems that have allowed us to prosper and thrive over the last 10,000 years. With rising temperatures and a more acidic ocean comes the risk of destabilizing the very systems which have served and fed us all this time. Worsening extreme weather events, increasing temperatures making large population centres uninhabitable, rising sea levels threatening more centres of population, areas of cultivation and the essential industry which makes the lives we enjoy possible, such as the power stations that power the world. We also see the most affluent killing themselves softly through inactivity, excess, and the stress that seems to go hand in hand with the success we think is the end goal. All whilst so many starve and have no access to the health care that others take for granted. So much for granted indeed that many have stopped taking the very elements of healthy living and modern medicine we know to have given us extended lifespans, either dying young from conditions we can overcome or living their last decades in need of constant care because of decisions they took in the preceding years. So I ask you again, what is the point of living ever longer if the place we call home is damaged beyond a point that gives us pleasure? Making Tomorrow Better seeks to help you understand the whole picture, how to live longer and healthier on a planet that is sustainable and thriving towards a future where everyone gets to enjoy the rewards of all those who have inspired, created and suffered before us to make this world the best it can be for everyone.